thank you for this information as well. And um, the last question I would like to ask you is um, what are the ways to find jobs there? right now like uh, the most out uh, uh, updated services and um, the most efficient ways to find a position um there are websites uh government websites private websites wechat groups like wechat is huge in china right so pretty much that's your social media platform where um job jobs get posted where you know people exchange news linkedin will be a great way to find a job right because linkedin is the source where it's, it's legitimate right i mean if you find a job on linkedin you can you can you can trade the contacts you can see what job is coming from um so again um i would i would suggest like and again so for example do your research right like for example you feel like uh, flying into nanjing whatever right so go nanjing find the list of kindergartens find the list of primary school universities go to their websites right and they will have like hr email or hr try that right i mean do some work right because i know that everyone else is looking for okay like i need to find a job fair where i just show up with my resume and i have like five job offers yeah sure yes. but NPR. so it's still important to be proactive and if you want Absolutely. to find a solid position the best approach would be to uh, create your perfect resume uh write uh, a cover letter and then send it directly to hr um well hr managers at a yeah. particular school Try to get as try to get as close as possible as you can to to the school itself, right? Like bypassing any third parties or fourth parties, because you because you have to understand that if you're dealing with agents or like hiring agencies, right? Um, you have to realize that they're getting like stacks of resumes from all over the world, especially now when no one is flying. You know, everyone is pretty much like in the you know travel mode. Right? You know, like I'm just waiting for the borders to open up. I'm already packed my suitcase, my passport. Like, like I'm good to go, right? It's it's all over the world right now. So the uh, they get blasted right now like, with the resumes and cover letters. So you want um you, you want to bypass that, right? You want to bypass that and try to get as like for example, if you find the school that you want to be involved with. So you found a school, you found the province. Try to find the uh, the community of teachers who belong to that city say hey you know what like I, i'm not currently there but I, I, is anyone working there do you guys have any uh connections with the management right start start there that, yeah, by, take, by the way right yeah by the way um on our website like tefl uh, course.net uh, yeah. We usually we try to post, we try to keep it updated, and we have a job section where job offers are posted con constantly, yeah. and they are posted by uh, direct employers sometimes. So yeah. some of the yeah. uh, job offers are from agencies, uh, some yeah. of them are from real schools, uh, and yeah. you have this opportunity. So make sure you go to the ITTT website and check out that section. Um, how to get there? So right now you guys can see uh, this QR code here somewhere um, on the right corner yeah uh, right corner on my screen yeah that's right so if you uh, scan it with your cell phone you can get directly to the ittt website uh, with this QR code you also can get a 30 percent discount of any ittt tefl courses <laughs> yeah you can try it on um and uh, also uh, you will be able to see the whole website, all of the sections, uh, job section particularly. Uh, and yeah, I, I just want to um, send the direct links there as well. So you can see it on the comment section right now. So if you want uh, to see the job sections on our website, uh, just go follow this link and mm -hmm. you will uh, find everything you need okay um and i think that is all for uh, Lisa, that is just... uh, excuse me just wanted yes. to uh, add something add something um 
back to the agents, right? So um, I used to deal with two types of agents. And the most common is when agent decides to take care of you. And then pretty much you sign a contract with the agent for a year. Then you sign another contract with the school for a year. And then so the agent ends up collecting your salary, right? So that's one type. There's another type that's not very common, but that's the one you want to have in case you want to go through the agents. So some agents, they will collect one-time fee, one-time payment. For example, agent might say, hey, you know what, Lisa, are you looking for a job? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, well, there is a job. So what's going to happen is I'll hook you up with that job, but I will need, let's say, 50% of your salary, equivalent of 50% of your salary. Let's say you're applying for a job and that pays like 20000 a month, right? And then uh, the agent will say, um, you know what, I'll get you the job, I'll take care of, I'll help with the documents, maybe, that I'm not sure about that, but uh, I will need one-time payment of 10,000 RMB once you get that job. That so is not too bad. 50% from the first salary, right? It might, be, it might be 50%, it might be 100%, it might be 30%, it depends on the agent, but it's a one-time thing, right? Then once you pay that money, there is no obligations, right? So you, you, know, thanks for, you know, thanks for finding me the job, I'll talk to you later, let's be in touch, right? and then you get split ways. That's the agent you want to have, right? That's normal practice, right? It might sound, oh, wow, like 100% of my salary will go to the agent, but you know, it happened once, right? And it's normal, you know, agent did the job, right? But then you will never see him again, right? Cons uh, so if you, uh, so maybe if you're dealing with the agent, ask the conditions, right? Because uh, uh, different agents, different conditions, like, are you going to be with me for a year or I just have to pay you once so I'll never see you again? So try to uh, distinguish that, like what's happening in terms of your long-term relationship. Yeah. All right. So thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, and thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.